is suspected notorious terrorist Dugu Gidi and his members have claimed responsibility for shooting down a Nigeria Air Force helicopter near Chukuba Ward in Shiroro local government area of Niger State. And some people say this to you when this thing happened on, on uh, two days ago. They say, forget it too, that you should tell us that a bandit did that. And now they are coming to claim responsibility. Hey, Gide and his group are little known to Nigerians before yesterday. The group sent out a viral video allegedly recorded at the site of Monday's Air Force Jets crash, claiming responsibility for the accident. In the less than three minute clip, the terrorists claim the kid dozens of soldiers on the plane. Our reporter counted 11 bodies in the video, with some of them in camouflage. The video showed terrorists wielding AK 47s. The aircraft had, had the inscription NAF 5E2. The narrator said, These are bodies belonging to soldiers of the Nigeria Army who attacked us with the intention of causing us harm. They did this to see the downfall of Dogo Dige, and by God's grace, he is still alive and won't die. Those are dozens of soldiers, as you can see them. This is their airplane. Repent, we have no business with anyone except those who try to come for us. This is God's work. We use an AK-47 to bring down the down this plane. Take a look at them. Let this be a lesson. You all should repent. It is not our intention to keep, but for everyone to be enlightened and have the fear of God. Leaders who sent these soldiers our way to be killed by us should repent. We won't surrender from pressure or even any aeroplane. Dogo Dige, who is their target, won't die now. He's still alive. These are AK 47s we use to bring down the plane. We opened fire when we sighted them and they did the same. Repent and fear God. We pray for God's mercy at all times. This is God's work and not us, as you can see. The resident Simon Bulos said the Dogo Gide terrorist groups operates in the forest. One of the residents said, when we heard continuous gunshots, we took to our heels, but we saw shots being fired the, at the helicopter. A resident, Haruna Ibrahim, said, the Nigeria Air Force M1-171 helicopter that, that took off from a Zungeru, Niger State, heading to Kaduna, crashed on Tuesday. Yesterday, President Bola met in the commiserated with the families of those who died in the crash. He don't finish with that. He don't commiserate with them. They don't move on. Contrary to the terrorist claim, Chief of Air Staff, M. Masha Hassan Abubakar attributed the crash to bad weather. Bad weather. <laughs> According to him, seasonal weather challenges, which he said usually hamper officers' striking capabilities, were also responsible for the crash. The CAS spoke when Niger State Governor Umar Bago paid him a condolence visit over the death of flight pilots and some soldiers in this incident. Abubakar said, going forward, we are striving to achieve zero incidents in all our operations that challenge we are addressing. That challenge we are addressing, we also have other challenges which are seasonal. For example, the rain has come and there is route cloud. I think they should be able to know. They are supposed to know whether because I always see here that say, oh, flights are being cancelled or whatever being cancelled because of bad weather. So does it mean they didn't see that? He said, for example, hmm, this hampers what we can see, especially in terms of our strike capabilities. Also, when the hamatan comes, it also has effect on our operations these are challenges we live with and we hope that sometimes you understand when our operations are hampered or impeded by some of these challenges the air chief said as long as nf any aircraft operate and fly in order to degrade the enemy's incidents or accidents cannot be ruled out hmm. cannot be ruled out if they are going to get rid of all these uh, enemies.
that a incident or accident cannot be ruled out. Hmm. Meaning, those who are claiming responsibility know what they are talking about. The fact is that as long as we operate fly airplanes, there will be incidents and accidents. In fact, the volume of incidents and accidents is directly proportional to the rate of operations, he said. Bago said the state was vulnerable to security challenges because it has the largest landmass and is surrounded by water bodies. Mm. Can you imagine? Mm-hmm. Mm. My sincere sympathy to the bereaved family. Tinubu, have you seen what is going on? Please forget about Niger Republic and fight those terrorists in Nigeria that are killing innocent citizens. You made the families of those kids vulnerable in all aspects of life. Nigerians, please talk to your president to clean his backyard before opting to clean another person's own. Your soldiers can't even fight Boko Haram and then D and them them. Then you want to show power. Papi, Tinumbu, please focus on how to make Nigeria safe. Still on the matter, it is in the southeast. If it is in the southeast, all the people in that area would have been gone by now. Nothing anyone can do to exterminate the Igbos. No, it is not possible. They should go after those that shot down the Air Force plane now. <laughs> the one that went to go and attack uh, the... Uh, this, the uh, is it NDA, yeah, NDA that time. Have they, have they seen them? Have they done anything? Mm, uh, wow.